guys, um, I'm so excited because it is finally Vlogmas. It is the last day of November. December 1st is tomorrow, which means all of the Advents are about to start happening and Vlogmas is back. I am so excited. I love watching all the Vlogmas videos. I love participating in Vlogmas and I just wanted to get a little bit of a teaser out and day ahead so you guys can I guess prepare um, just a little sneak peek of what's to come this month um, if you are unfamiliar with vlogmas it is essentially where um, people, the participants will vlog their day throughout the month of December so you get a little peek behind behind the scenes where it's not so much sitting in front of the camera talking like a normal podcast um, but you get to see bits of the day that you might not get to see um, I will definitely be sharing my advent calendars that I received for 2019. Um, so fair warning, there will be spoilers if anyone else is also receiving these calendars and are, for whatever reason, watching um, before opening up that day's, which is probably not going to happen. Um, my schedule will likely be recording throughout the day and then uploading for that day in the evening or possibly even the following day, depending on how busy my schedule is. Um, so I will be opening all my December 1st advents, obviously tomorrow morning, December 1st, um, and then the video will not be up until the evening of December 1st or even the morning of December 2nd. So hopefully I won't be spoiling anything for anyone, but just a heads up, if you are going to be watching, um, I do have a Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent calendar that I'm really excited about. Um, I was smitten with hers from last year, I saw in quite a few vlogmases, um, and decided to jump in and purchase one of hers this year. And I have a Cat Sandwich Fibers advent, which I am so stoked about. I am such a fangirl of Cat Sandwich Fibers, so I am really excited to have all of MJ's beautiful little advent minis. And then I also purchased for the first time, I have a Spinner's advent calendar, and that is from Wolfie and the wonderful Emily. Um, she divided up or created little bits of top and roving for every day, and I'm really excited about that one because I'm thinking that I may um, divide each day's little bump uh, or braid or what, whatever, however it is prepped, um, divide it in half and then spin those halves onto two different bobbins. Um, and then eventually at the end of the month, I will ply the two bobbins together, making a very large Franken skein. Um, I have no idea what the color combinations are or what the fiber content is, so I'm really curious to see how that works out. Um, I had also thought about maybe just spinning into minis for each day and then eventually using the minis to knit something, um, but I think I kind of like the idea of just spinning it all onto a big bobbin and then at the end of the month the big reveal will happen when I ply those two together. So. Uh, we shall see, but whatever the case may be, I will definitely be bringing you guys along for that. Um, I will be planning on spinning so that fiber on my um, electric eel wheel Nano, um, which I have chatted about a little bit on the podcast, but have not yet gotten a video of me actually spinning on that up yet, so I do apologize. Uh, but have no fear, there will be plenty of that in the month to come. I'm hoping to get quite a bit of footage of me spinning spinning my little advent fiber. So there you have it. Um, I am still slightly undecided on what to knit with my advent calendars. I do think that I'm going to be knitting a Fly True blanket. Um, that is a brand new pattern by um, Melissa Loomis and she is Skinanigans on Instagram and Ravelry. She is the creator behind the Northeasterly blankets that came out last year. Um, I'm currently working on one of those and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so I think I might make a brand new Fly True blanket with my Cat Sandwich fibers um, because MJ's yarn is so speckly and so wonderful and um, I really wanted to find a pattern that would just let the yarn shine through, um, the colorway shine through, so I didn't want anything super patterned or lacy, 
um, for those. So I think that that will be perfect. So that is my plan for that one. As far as the Sweet Sparrow Knits, her colors are beautiful and muted and gorgeous. And I'm thinking maybe a Dust of Snow, um, a pattern by Curious Handmade or Helen Stewart. Um, so those are my plans. Like I said, I will bring you guys along every day. I'm so excited for Vlogmas. I'm hoping that I will have lots of time to um, share little bits of my day with you. I do work full time during the day, um, so I will likely not be bringing you guys along for that. There you have it. Um, I'm really excited and I can't wait to get Vlogmas started. So enjoy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.